Welcome everybody. We got a great video here. This is by a great video. Uh, Austin Go. We're going to talk about patulous eustachian tube dysfunction or disorder. As you can see here, he's warming his hands up. And what you want to do is you want to place your hands over your ear. And as you can see, he's causing, uh, he's creating circulation. He's he's causing that the, the blood to move around in the ear. And that is something that is stressed upon. I constantly talk about it. Uh, with patulous eustachian tube dysfunction, many of you are already aware it's when your eustachian tubes remain open. Now we have a lot of videos here on the channel of J Well in the studio about eustachian tube dysfunction where your eustachian tubes remain closed. Uh, this exercise right here is, is very great. I um, didn't want to do these myself because I think Austin does a great job and I'm just going to kind of uh, talk about what he's doing. Right here he's exercising the, the muscles. We have tons of muscles in our jaw lining and our ear. Uh, we have the tensor tympany muscle inside. What he's doing is he's creating that circulation we talked about. Good blood flow is what's going to heal you, creating that suction. You're going to take your hand air on the video, as you can see, and you're going to create that suction. Apply pressure when doing this now because uh, be, you know, you don't have to be too careful. Your ears are very, very solid. They're not going to break on you or, or cause any uh, damage. Of course, if you feel any pain or if you're dealing with any infections, you, want, you do want to be sure to uh, be in touch with your doctor. But if you're just dealing with the nagging patulous eustachian tube dysfunction, you hear your own voice, um, no pain, but it's just a, a dis, it's just a dysfunction really. You just feel... Uh, it's just not a comfortable situation. So right here, you want to do switch ears, create that suction. If you if you can do that, you'll notice you'll get a lot of relief. Now this is something that's hard for a lot of you uh, that are having a lot of congestion. Uh, you might want to be careful with this one. Uh, he's literally blowing out. The, he's moving the air away, uh, the air through the airways of the tube, your station tube through the nasal passages. Uh, so you want to be sure that you're all cleared out. You might want to blow your nose before doing this exercise. Uh, but this is what he's doing. He's again, he's opening up those airways to 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 really release that pressure. And again, if you're dealing with patulous eustachian tube dysfunction, the eustachian tube is propped open. By doing this, you are allowing uh, the air to flow through and hopefully it will stimulate that section of the ear to get that eustachian tube to finally get back in place. Now what's causing it to stay open is a numerous of things. It could be an injury, it could be TMJ related issues, stress and anxiety causes inflammation um, because through time you're putting a lot of ex excess pressure by maybe clenching your jaw. So this is really going to help you uh, work that section of the ear and again I would also try doing this I usually do these exercises that you see here uh, with the red light therapy infrared light going as well kind of getting that double effect but this is going to be a beautiful exercise for you to do it obviously doesn't look great but you want to do these often as you can see Austin does a great job of putting uh, on the video how how you should be having your hands placed there or how often or how long you should be doing these exercises but doing these consistently, you will start to find relief. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. Patulous eustachian tube dysfunction isn't something that's very common, but I hope this helps and I will talk to you all soon. Alrighty, my wellness people, that concludes our video for today. I'm gonna go ahead now and step out of the J Wellness Studio and leave you in good hands with this video. I ask you all to subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest, greatest health and wellness videos, motivation, yoga, and meditation. But before I let you go, I'd like to leave you with one thing. Being well is feeling well. Feeling well is doing well. Doing well is living well. Take care, everybody. Talk to you soon.